A very good evening to you from Emirates Airline Park in Johannesburg for round 10 action in the Carling Curry Cup. We have the unbeaten Toyota Cheetahs against the Sigma Lions in this round 10 action. The Cheetahs with seven wins out of seven. They've had both their buys in this competition. And Hansen giving chase. Second lock. And then it's on for Lunga and Kube. Quick ball for Warner. And Russ in the midfield. Draws the attention of both Fortein and Morsi. Good cleaning from the lines away by Zeilinger. And quickly through the hands as well. It's on here for the Lions. It's a beautiful score for Stian Pinar. Wonderful handling up the left flank. There were some deft little touches with the hands there. No, nine. Huge pressure coming through from the cheetah scrum, but then it's an offside call against Ruan Pinar. You may have heard referee Jadazweni warning him about creeping offside. We've seen on countless occasions that kicks over 50 meters at the high felt is certainly on for him. That's got the distance and direction as well. Magnificent from Swanapool. Sekakete, the target this time. And still the same wall is the call. Over they go and the try awarded. There were some similarities to the first one that was disallowed. Sekakete after the dummy jump from Aidan Davis. An immediate powerful <laughs> momentum for this cheetahs mall and the breakaway the score wonderful execution just just centimeters short but still the penalty advantage some desperate defense required by the cheetahs there Wow. Right, and, print, 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 print. and another dangerous tackle. You're not, yeah, you're number six going to the bin. Well, Gideon van Ameva yeah. has been sent to the sin bin. The penalty quickly taken. Cairns. And then for Sahi Zeilinger. His momentum can't take him over the line. Warner waits. And now they're over. It's a wonderful score. Lindo and Kusani brings his bench off their chairs in celebration. Well, for solid foundation here. These are the sort of situations where France stay and can be so effective with the boot, but not this time. Beautiful strike from Swanepoel. It's his fourth successful penalty. Quick ball for Pinar. And then Eberson for Brits. It is some watchful defense from the Lions. Pinar again. Against? And then Nsila. Sekakete. Another penalty advantage, but the Cheetahs want to play here. Pinar, cut out ball from him. And into the corner was Duncan Saul, but he looks as though he may have dropped that ball over the line. Yeah, they're going to go upstairs and have a look. I think this is going to be a good angle to see it from this position. Uh, JD, you can stay with the on-field decision. Yeah. Stay with my on-field decision. There's it's no not clear, clear that there's, yeah, It's not okay. clear that there's any Fine. clear separation. Pity on Fanameva and a penalty advantage. Yanni Duplessis unable to roll away from the tackle. The cross kick is from Reinhard Fortein. And just beating Daniel Cassende. A real pity for Daniel Cassende. We've seen so little, little of him yeah. in this game. He's an exciting. Number of penalties against your team. That was for number 18, not rolling away. Yeah. 
There's a kick to Riga in the lead. Kirion van der and Louis van der Westhuizen trying to control that ball. Has he got it down? If he has, that's extraordinary. Uh, it's all about riding the wave, and he rode that wave absolutely perfect. He rode the momentum that was generated from that mall. Front ball they go. They go to Sikikete. Taken initially there by Kirion van der Merwe. He transfers it back into Louis van der Westhuizen. And now they go. Now they're riding. They're riding the momentum. Up against that touchline. He tiptoes his way through, and does he stay in? It looks like he does, and gets in for that try. And full time at uh, Emirates Airline Park with four tries to two the Cheetahs defeat the Lions by 35 points to 26.